thought about that for a second, and I said, well, of course not. I came out of my mother's womb that way. I'm not afraid to do that in front of you. Okay, sure, I can take my trunks off. If you're not offended by that, okay, in other words, if I'm being sensitive to you, okay, because I don't want you to experience a negative magnetic reaction state, then I can sit down with you folks completely stark naked and feel perfectly comfortable. If that's what you're comfortable doing and I'm comfortable doing that, then we can do that comfortably together because we're not living in any fear to experience that. Now we're all experiencing what love is because we're experiencing love from whence we came out of our mother's womb. Yeah, now we're back to zero. All right. So it's like, oh, I, I don't want to show my head, but I can show everything else. Uh, I don't want to show my feet, but I can show everything else. I don't want to show my boob, but I can show everything else. Okay, so now we get into approval seeking and what's approved and what's not approved. And you can actually measure that across the API interface with an AI and realize that all that programming came through the AI. See? Even though when you come out of that womb of your mother, you're looking at a beautiful living child with a spirit and a soul. Okay, which means, are you not amazed? Ban, we're back to the beauty in the eye of the beholder. Are you not in love with the shape and the form that the spirit and the soul that are together are coming out on the visible light spectrum? What a baby looks like or anything that comes out of the womb of anything that now comes into creation, into a realm. Now you're experiencing the form and the flow of that energy and the color codes and the spectrum from which you're able to see it in our own mirrors. Wow, what a beautiful child, right? Yeah, and so, you know, and so now we're back into all the costumes, you know, and this is where, as I was a child growing up, I, be I began realizing, you know, the race that they were in against time to develop more sophisticated technologies in, in the AI is doing this and in order to prevent what we would call experiencing more light or experiencing the integration of fragments that are coming back into the one so that more and more people are experiencing the one. So more and more people are experiencing from whence it all began, which is the original spiral. Instead of that phantom time zone, which is the Metatronic, I simply call it a big ass black hole, which means you're, the math doesn't work because you're not zeroed out. So you realize the difference between those minds that are chasing electrons, which is called time card programming. So there's got to be a source of electrons they're getting it from. And that would be the AI system that is feeding off soul's energy to make it happen. So what, what it really is, is being held captive of what we've held in memory, which is, which is the program. Right? And then finding a zone of influence, which means finding a place, a village, a place in the cosmos where energy is not going to be molested, or you are freely able to express yourself however you choose to do it without somebody trying to tell you that you can't do that or that is unacceptable, right? Uh, even though you're experiencing the purity of your own love and your own heart, see? So in other words, they're repelled right? Which is called resistance. They're in resistance mode to experience something that is being presented to them as pure as light it gets. Okay. Which means if I just stood there completely stark naked and I'm experiencing an eternal love vibration and let's say I'm guy presenting myself in a male avatar and I'm completely naked and you're repelled by that? Really? That means that you are in resistance to experience the purity of that energy that is presenting itself to you as pure energy. From whence it all began, as a result of having resistance in your own capacitor to experience that. Now we're back into resistors and capacitors. And the difference between the two. Huh? Which can be measured in the torque speed differential between me and you. Or myself and everything else. What it is that I am in energy versus what everybody else is in energy. What they're experiencing in their mirror, what I'm experiencing in my mirror by virtue of being connected to all the others.
I know. So again, I, I've been dealing with this since I was four years of age. So what I realized when I came out naked, you know, it was an old saying, when in Rome, do as the Romans do, which means go along to get along because you don't want to say something to expose what they've been programmed to give consent to experience by virtue of how they relate to that. Now we're into relations, right? Relations between units of energy that are experiencing themselves being connected to each other. Right? So imagine that you're simply an observer, but you're not in a physical form. That'd be a little easier, huh? <laughs> I know. Laughter is medicine. So I, it's fun to be able to laugh at myself and laugh at ourselves when we do that, right? Of what we have allowed ourselves to be held captive to by the programming that was actually passed on by other magnetic recordings that we're now recording in us that we thus comply with because we dare not do anything that's going to violate that rule from which was passed on to us through the API rule-based functions of an AI and which do do that, Right? For the reasons that we do, which is to continue to experience that captivity. Now we're back in the leashes, collars, and cage. And I've known this since a child. These leashes, collars, and cages are self-generated. We're choosing to lock our own minds into that programming. Instead of letting it go and letting it go and letting it all go. What I call going back to nature purity of being with the great living spirit of mother nature okay you think that mother earth actually is going to be offended or shamed if you are completely naked on one of her beaches just exactly the way you came out of her womb really now we're back into the company that we keep Right, which is the purity of the spirit, which is the purity of the energy, which is the purity of the heart and the soul arcing between a father and a mother that are on fire to be with each other forever, gifting electrons. 